Um, so now, what you said about that background, I'm just trying to think. That's off. This goes off. Can we see? Because I think you're right, um, Benny. Stephen A, I cannot tell a lie. The majority of the game for this double overtime loss has to go to the three-time MVP, LeBron James. Are you talking about the law? Yes. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. LeBron James, I would be quick to point out, made a terrific go open three to tie the game at the okay. end of regulation. I give him high marks for that. Oh, my God. Like now that. you can't you see here. You just see the outside. That don't work. Okay, <laughs> you know, I'm not a lighting major, so. Um, what, it, what it is. Now it, look, now I can see you and I can't see that. Right. Yeah. What we would have to do. Hold on. Um, right. We have the to camera finish. would actually have to go over there. We'd have to be here. Camera there. <coughs> Shining on. Uh, well, see, Wait, what do you mean? Say that again? All right. We can't be directly in front of the oh, window. Oh, you're saying it, it catches out. the window on an out. angle? Right. Because it's catching it flush. I have seen what you're saying. Right. That makes sense. Yeah, much it's, yeah it's bleaching it out. Right. So if it catches it on an angle, we're here. You know, you can even like put the TV in front of it. TV right here. Well, that's I, now, that's what I wanted to do. Know, the TV can actually go right where this stuff is. She might like that too, a change. I'm going to do that yeah. for tomorrow. Yeah, good that job, would be man. good. That would be good. And then... Well, listen. That was my plan. Look at See, me. The southern exposure. The sun is going to come up when it's not cloudy. It's going to be over the TV here. Back. I'm going to be on this side, on my side, and you're going to be on this side. TV? I don't know if we should be on opposite. Well, we could be. Yeah, we probably could be. Sure. Look, and you, when you do weather. Uh-huh. Oh, laser pointer? Yes, sir. Oh, nice. Awesome. Yeah. And we close them. Because you're going to have to do baseball lessons eventually, too. I dropped this thing today and broke it. Well, I, for my students, I draw and then uh, what to do with the most of my feet. And the guy on first or third. Okay, now let's see. We had our coffee break. Are you recording anymore? Yeah. Okay, another segment. Yeah, you're on right now. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi. Now, okay, go. Cool. And now we, let's see. Okay. Oh, that thing's good? Okay. You're totally good over there? Like your station, you're good. Alright. Well, this is cool that this fell like. It's just the way it fell. Alright. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Guys making fun of me already. I tried to bump into that. Next time. Okay. Don't go there. What the hell's going on? He stresses out a bit though. Okay. Now. Listen, Pat, then look, that's why you stay in the bathroom because he messed, he knows, he tries oh. to get up. All right, people, Pat Lemke, my boy. All right, I see what's going on. This has to go out. That's better, I'm sure. Now listen, Pat Lemke, I, I need the lights. As you can see, I have major lighting issues. I got the right color man and the wrong lighting. Okay, our coffee breaks over. Oh yeah, you can't, you're right. That thing's awesome over there. Kitty, don't mess around. All right. <coughs> Gonna light some candles. I don't have any, otherwise they'd be lit in front of the logo. <laughs> you laughed at me. Oh, Benny, I got a game for you to play. Okay. See if you could score a goal. Hold it up high so the people can see. Put the laser pen down. Uh, <laughs> I love it. Thank it's you. Sport, uh, it's the Sparky Milwaukee Show. 
We're here live with Betty Babona. He's checking out the game that Adam bought me. I don't oh, think, yeah, it's wow. working. He I has his it. own technique. Everyone has their own technique. That's the beauty of the game. Oh, wait, I, I get it now. Um, okay. Nothing to this. Now, let me put Max away. We, we, Benny met Max. He's going to have to go in this little home. Bye. And he'll hang out with you guys later, universe. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Now, because Benny was late this morning, we didn't get the, his headphones, so he's that not. There is to it. Oh, Benny Babona. Check it out, everybody. He did score. He's not making it up. Was that supposed to be difficult? What was that? Was it <laughs> Listen, was when I first picked picked this thing up, when I first picked this thing up, it doesn't just go in the net. Go. Oh! But sometimes it falls the wrong way. Yeah, it does. I think once the water gets going to one, oh, I'm I got telling you. you. Swirling around this current. I'm set. telling you. See, I got you. Because I you'll have you. it right there and go like this, thinking it's going to go in, and it goes around there. I got you. All right, so it's one-one. I was going to say one nothing, but because he was a wise guy, I ended up scoring a goal. It's one 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 Babona, one Miller, Malarkey. Okay. Anyway, who cares? <coughs> Excuse me, here we are. I got my blue ball still. I, they won't. They came all the way from Florida with me, believe it or not. It's crazy. Max is in his home. It, <laughs> it, sorry, I'm scaring the guy right. It's Monday, 12.20 p.m. Benny and I just had our first lunch together. Everything is going great. Uh, I, got we're no gonna, I got no lunch. <laughs> coffee. What, we're men. What does he want? Uh, this turkey, listen, everyone in the, all my viewers have seen the honey maple turkey and the Munster and American, it's all in there, salami, right. Genoa, okay. but we just met, I'm feeding it up. That's what I get paid, a sandwich a day. <laughs> it's all right. It's sad, things are rough here on my mouth. So, Benny's going to get the spotlight in a minute because he's going to do uh, the, the, the Babona rundown and... Um, yeah, he's going to check it out now and get, look at his notes. He, this down. is his first time doing it. So if people know I watch the Nick and Artie show, give me one second. And, you know, Mike Buschetti does it. it we, at Malarkey, like I told my fiancé the other night with the score, say it however you want. We're human. And he knows this. I don't got to tell him this. I just met the guy two days ago, and I know he knows this kind of stuff. All right. So here, so uh, what was I going to say, though? Uh, you know, I got off topic. Um, the Bobona rundown my own rundown. Right. Huh? This is like my own rundown. All right. Oh, I was saying the Nick and Artie show. So anyway, uh, shout out to Matt McGinley. I don't think I got to write it on your notes when I was driving home from Sears this morning in the snow. <laughs> no, I'm not being a white guy. I'm serious. Uh, no, I really wasn't. I'm just saying. I, yeah. My buddy who I grew up with, he has long hair or did. It doesn't matter, but the long hair added to his comedy. It did. And I think now he does like stand-up in local bars. And I said, uh, hey, will you going to do a stand-up bit on our show? And he said, yes, his name's Matt McGinley. So at the, when you're done with your rundown, just mention that we're going to have Matt McGinley, comedian, in the building uh, next week. Okay, so we're here at the Sparky Milwaukee show. Benny's getting ready. Huh? How do you turn that off? It looks like it died. I don't think you got power at that front of that That's what I'm asking you. Yeah, I don't think is, so. Is no, that really so? Not lit up. Huh? Power pack's not lit up. So, what's plugged in right here? It might not need to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that? No, no, no. It's just, we don't need this right now. Give me, no. give me it. Good idea. I'm That's sorry. Not no sure. problem. So you guys are with us. Technical difficulties here. No, well, we're setting up, people. Yeah. You know, you're watching the the construction. Part of the Sparky and Benny show, all new Sparky Malarkey show, live in your living room, another day, another dollar, sports all day, I uh, got lessons, actually it's getting late, I have lessons at 3 o'clock, thank you very much Benny, beautiful, and uh, that's how we're doing it, don't forget to tune in to the Sparky's Grills cooking show, lamb chops, lasagna bolognese, Linguini a la bangol. That's what it was. Uh, <laughs> and uh, all that good stuff. That so, electricity, man. It's awesome. 786. Underrated electricity. <laughs> it's underrated. 786 499 7746. 
Um, look, let me see the phone and the charger. It's I right. got it plugged in. I got it plugged into you. I'm going to charge through the computer. Perfect. Good. So we're here with spin. Benny Babona, so announcer. He, we're just going to go down with the. He's going to go to over the rundown with you. Here Whoa, we go. Oh, Sparky's old lady. What she went? What's with the ball gag? Ball game. Ball gag. <laughs> Come on, let's go, Benny. Do the rundown. All right, Larry Parrish. Listen, let's get to one thing straight. I don't know anything about sports. All right, he gave me this. I'm going to pretend to know something about it. No, I'm going to do my best. I know who these guys are. Larry Bird. I, I've heard their names, but I'm not, uh, I'll have to pay more attention to sports for the next show. All right, I'll be, I'll, I'll be, I'll be better informed. All right, but Larry Parrish says he needs more money, more money. He says he needs money, and he needs over six to seven figures. I heard a little bit about this from, who's this guy here? Sparky. Right, what was your name again? Sparky. All right, yeah. All right, Sparky. Sparky. At birth. Yeah, I know. Parrish name is Sparky. And he's not an electrician. All right. Benny, here's your orange juice. Oh, awesome. Look at that. Yeah. I'll take Go ahead, continue. Of the You're doing great. Can I run a tab here? <laughs> no. Just go ahead with the rundown. Doing great. I'm coming back. All right. He shuns Larry Bird and Mikhail. I, Larry Bird, I know who he is. Mikhail, I know Mikhail's Navy. All right. Mikhail, I'll find out for them all. Um, look at this. He's, yeah. he's the boss. He's the engineer. He's the lighting now, director. The, he's the everything. Now, look listen, you're going to get a chance later to, to mix this up with right. me, even if we do it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So, but you're doing a perfect job. I like how you're shedding a little insight into it. Yeah, I'm trying to. That's good. No, but you're not just reading it. It's perfect. All right, the Miami Heat, Chris Bosh. But in other words, you don't have to I'll apologize know. for not knowing no, uh, the chief, Robert Paris. He's I'll an idiot. Who Chris Bosh is tomorrow. All right, hockey <laughs> players, I might know. So, right. he, so Benny Babona just said he doesn't even know who Chris Bosh is, and Bosh claims he's a Hall of Famer. Go ahead. Okay. All right. So, good thing I'm not voting for the Hall of Fame. <laughs> Good one. Let's go. All right. Miami Heat. So this is a Hall of Fame. Apparently Milwaukee here doesn't think he is. Um, now here's an interesting topic. Would you let your kid play tackle football? It depends. Is your kid a daffodil? Then no. All right? It, you know what? It, it, it's a tough one, man. It's you know, one. if your kid is feminine and sashays into the room, then no. All right? Good He's point. just... He's just, uh, you know, a he's point. a gay man waiting to happen. And, you know, they'll pick up on that on the football field and mash his little brains in. Well, not some gay, uh, there are some gay athletes. Yeah, but not in school. <laughs> You're not coming no, out No, I school. listen. I it's a good point. So. It's a definitely a point to be argued either so. way. But either way. No, but I think it's more the question is whether they're going to get injured or not. You know, it's a chance you take, you know. I mean, you're going to get that swell uniform, but, you know. It would all be worth it if you had to push your kid around in a wheelchair, right? If he crippled himself. And, you know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I would let my kid. Well, it's funny you say that because this morning I discussed it with my fiance on the way to work. It came up on the Mike and Mike show and Mike Golick and Mike Greenberg, ESPN Radio. And and I, and it, you know what? I think you, you know, you're a smart guy. You made a good point because it doesn't apply. You can't just say it black and white, cut and dry. What if the kid isn't, isn't built for that? Right. We did a piece last week on the Milwaukee Show, Ray Lewis. He said, my baby, this is Ray Lewis, the toughest football player maybe of all time. He says, my baby ain't built for that. They slammed him on the ground. The guy sacked him. He said, I want him to be a lawyer or a judge. He said, now my other two kids, they'll probably kick you when you're down and spit on you. You know what I mean? Go ahead, Ben. Oh, the, well, my fiance and I, so we said, uh... We brought, we said, I have a friend of mine that his nephew got seriously injured at a young age right now. So he doesn't let his kids play the tackle football. They play the flag. And it's, uh, I played the tackle football. Did you? No. Okay. No. A lot of people didn't. Played Some people did. I played lacrosse in school. Which is a oddity sport, which is awkward hitting. And uh, you get beat up playing like lacrosse. That. Yes, sir. Big bruises going yeah, home, man, everything. Boy, a, Sprained ankles, a, wrists. Full contact sport, man. Full contact sport, With lacrosse. a hard ball that goes fast. With a hard ball that goes fast. I agree. Okay. Dangerous sport. All right, go ahead with the rundown. Okay. So we can go smoke. All right. Yeah, so, so, you know, 
to let your kid play or not. You really, it, it, it's contingent upon the kid. If the kid's not big set, and you know what, it's even more contingent on, this. what does he want to do? Does the kid want to play? If the kid wants to play, let him play. Kid wants to break his neck, you know. I mean, it, listen, I agree it, with him. You know, what is it? And one what are you going to tell the kid, no, you can't play? Well, what is it, really? Is it one in 100,000 kids, you know, gets a spinal injury? So it's like, you know. Where are you going to not send your kid to California yeah, on a plane to go see him? He's four times you know? more likely to get killed in a car accident on the way to practice. Exactly. So that's you can't, the you know, deal. That's so it. when you run, run, run scared, so thank you, Benny. Does he want to play or does he not want to play? I mean, that's if he's it. a daffodil and he wants to play, hey, get the cameras out and film it, man. I mean, if he gets <laughs> mashed, make some money with it. It's <laughs> <laughs> the Sport the Milwaukee Show. We're coming right back, 12.30 p.m. Uh, when we come back, uh, Benny will finish the rundown. He wants to take a beat, and the kid wants to take a beat. You know what? He makes a great point. That's why I'm saying you may have a gay guy, or I don't know. Well, he said gay. I don't like to say no, that. No, not like, gay. It's kind of political. That. Feminine. Feminine is whatever. <laughs> whatever it is. A little feminine. If he wants to get out there and play football, I'm, I'm all for it. I agree if with If you're Benny. trying to put him on the football field and he wants to join the glee club or well, the drama club, all right? Well, that, here's the thing. You may get blasted a couple times like it. I'm saying being a nut job and then actually become that, become good at the game. You have right, to. but they'll never give you the chance. Don't to get think there aren't gay athletes, people. No, in the no, professional they're not gay athletes. That's not what I'm saying. They just don't come out in school. Good point. You can't come out in school. Good point. I mean, they 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 hesitate to come out in in <coughs> in you know in, in the sports league. Thing. It's seven eight six four nine nine seven seven four six. Call us up. And let us know if you want us to turn the table. We're going to do it anyway. Don't listen to him. Oh, that one we, 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 We're not going to listen to a thing you say. No, right, we're just, you're uh, over here. We're going to try different yeah. things. Yeah. All right, you there. Where are the cameras? I'm not talking to a camera that's not <laughs> Wait, even on. did you say we're not going to listen you to anything they say? That's how low budget this place is. Put a red light on it or something. <laughs> I know, I need one. Are you going to handle all this stuff? What? Red lights, and you said you have a table. I have tripods, yeah. You yeah. have tripods. Someone's going to help this guy. <laughs> Benny Verbona with the Verbona rundown. This ain't low budget, but, you know. Dude, this ain't low budget over here. You came in, you, you said, oh, it's nice. Nice studio. Hey, pan the camera over there and show them what you're using as a tripod. <laughs> hey, look at this, America. Hold on. <laughs> It's <sighs> like three dollars. I know. And then, you know. In fact, I think I saw one in the garbage bin on the way over. <laughs> Adjustable legs and everything. <laughs> I have six somewhere, not here. Okay. Uh, bro, my parents in what Florida, happened, here, there. Sure. But I'm saying, here's the thing. Did you know you were gonna? gonna did you know you were gonna start a comedy show today? Like I'm saying, I've had tripods to watch my swing in baseball, to watch kids. They're scattered all over. I don't have one here. And when I bought this camera and everything, it's funny because they're like, for twenty nine dollars more, you could get this nice I tripod. That and I was cheap. I didn't. If I didn't mention that there was no tripod, they would have not known. So, and you know what? It's doing the job. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah, I love it. Thank you. That's what I thought. Listen, I'm trying to make, I'm trying to do it with the least money as possible. Can Isn't I get that back the, to my schedule? Yes. Alright. Alright, would you let your kids play tackle football? Up to you, America. Up to you. Alright. The Knicks win. The Knicks won. How about that? The Knicks won. <laughs> <laughs> I feel right. the same way. Yeah. I feel the same way. I can care less. Right. <laughs> I swear to God. We're going to work That's with Spike together. Lee who sits there at the next game, right? I know. The next game. It's awful. I, people, I became a non Nick fan like 18 years ago, just so you know. All right, well. Fall well, for you. that trick. Hey, whoever's fallen for that New York Nick trick this year again, call me up 786-499-7746 and place and tell Benny. Whatever you think, Benny, will pick up the phone. Go ahead, Benny. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Right. Go ahead. Um, now... I'm making you lunch, Benny. All right. See? Go That's, ahead. It's awesome. And you don't the need Knicks no win. Who cares, the Knicks won? All right, to the 17 fans out there, the Knicks 17 fans that are listening to the show, congratulations. All right? Don't expect any more of that. Because they suck. All right? Pro Bowl score... You got a question mark here. What's the problem? <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. Move this out of your way so we can put a plate of some Looks gold. Like Be careful with the yeah. with the what? Everybody that ever sees that thing says it looks like a potato. Is anybody ever going to see that thing and not say that? Tell me. Well, why'd you get a rock? Well, it's, it like a <laughs> why'd you get a rock? It's for baseball. You go like this before the game, and then when you pick up the baseball, it feels light. light as a feather. I got you. But everybody says, is why that a potato? Why don't you get a rock that's the shape of a uh, baseball? Ideally, I would, but I saw this on the ground. I said, this is pretty good for, you know, to put my hand before the game. All right. Kids. We're gonna pick up the base. All right, Benny's. It's Benny. Benny's on. All right. Honey maple turkey. You know how we do over here, Audie Lang. Audie Lang likes the prosciutto. Benny, do you like prosciutto? Yeah, prosciutto's good. Okay, go ahead. Here's the time. Um, the Heat versus Celtics. Double overtime. Want to tell us a little about that, Milwaukee? What happened there? It, right it was a great game. Came down to the wire. Dwayne Wade threw up a, a prayer, and it didn't go in, and they lost. I don't really. I don't want to upset anybody and say I don't care about basketball, but they know. I've already told them. Wintertime sports. I watched the U.S. Figure Skating Championship the other night, and I was telling someone that, and they're like, really? I do that. I watched the Australian Open Championship last night, Djokovic versus... A few days ago, they had the players' meeting where Kobe confronted him and said, do you have a problem with me? And all of a sudden, you connect the dots. See, you're looking at yesterday's game. But I'm here for you big I'm looking picture. I'm Friday and yesterday. I am Friday. And I'm here big picture. Because, see, you stuck on those two games acting like, oh, that's going to last. I better be no, stuck no, on them. So she Kobe. It's not. It's I'm not. Saying, it's not. Yeah. Well, I'm not saying that Kobe goes, goes to sh jacking up 30 shots and not feeding the big boys. I'm making the point with those quotes and with recent history that there's a level hey, buddy. of insensitivity. Oh, thanks for the kiss. Thank you. 